Hello guys, so welcome to Kyo Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So we'll be continuing with the bathroom tutorial over here. So very first of all, let's open a reference again over here for this. So let's open up a reference over here. Okay, so now, now what we'll be modeling over here is like, let's go over here at the side. Let's take a swift loop over here. I'll put one swift loop over here. And I'll put one swift loop over here so this area will be covered in this way so let's just select this part and let's just bridge this area select this polygons now after that Again go over here, take a box, so I'll just resize this, slightly shuffle this over here, so convert to editable poly, so although we'll be setting up a camera, we'll go through that how much we have to set. After that, I'll go over here and I'll put one swift loop over here. Select this polygons and let's give a bit of insert. Slightly shuffle this over here. So select this polygons. Again, slightly insert it, not much. And let's just extrude it a bit inside and let's click OK over here so again go into the vertices and I'll slightly shuffle this up All right. so definitely you can manage this all right now if you want to get a frame over here I'll just make a frame over here so just create a frame convert to editable poly select this polygons insert it just create a frame and let's give a bit of bridge over here so select the vertices slightly just push this up all right so you can convert this to editable poly it's already in the poly now i can just select this i can just select this this and i can give a bit of chamfer over here slight chamfer so again go over here again take a box over here
slightly shuffle this over here <coughs> so convert to editable poly select the vertices let's go into this view over here So select the polygons again, insert it, let's add some swift loops over here, so select this, slightly just push it inside. slightly just push it outside a bit save your file once over here can get such details I'll just go over here and I'll just duplicate that Okay, so this is not uh, that perfectly visible, so we are creating in that way. So still we'll go over here, I'll select this polygons, shuffle a bit out. select this push a bit behind over here so you can go over here and if you want you can again take a box over here for this can just place this over here so convert to editable poly select the vertices so slightly we can adjust it if required So select this edges and let's give a bit of chamfer so select this and slightly I'll shuffle this a bit inside ok alright so now how you can create this bathtub if you look at it closely over here for that I'll go into the top view over here and I'll go into this spline and I'll take a rectangle over here let's take a rectangle convert to editable spline select this rectangle over here and let's give a bit of fillet so let's give a fillet to it ok so once you assign the fillet over here let's go into this and let's give a extrude modifier so I can just extrude this up so how high you want so definitely we can uh, reduce the size of it if required so we will be definitely slightly will be shuffling this a bit over here it's 
slightly we are shuffling that so we can easily just push this element till here because there's a lot of space over here also so we can slightly reduce it height now looks much better so once you're done now I can just convert to editable poly I can just go into this isolate selection and if you don't need any of the loops over here I can just delete that I can put one swift loop over here I will be putting one swift loop and just select this select the polygons and let's give a bit of bevel over here so I'll be utilizing a bevel over here I'll increase this so whenever I will be making those changes I'll just end isolate this stuff we can slightly resize this so select this polygons uh, click inset and let's give a bit of bevel to it so we are creating this bathtub a perfect way so let's just put this put one So select this edges and let's give few connects. So if required you can just give a turbo smooth. So select the vertices. slightly scale that to select this polygons all right now looks much better after that if you want you can slightly make it more smoother save your file from down we can do that also so I'll just go over here I'll just take a cylinder part over here so just scale this convert to editable poly select the polygons insert the and I'll slightly bevel this click OK slightly just push this up and I'll rotate it and I'll set it over here All right. <coughs> so also we have some kind of a hollow section over here we can 
create such kind of a hollow section if required so temporary i'll just add again a turbo smooth so turbo smooth if you can add some segments inside part also looks much better now so this is although not visible so i'm not creating the hollow part over here so you can create this small kind of a chain section chain section can be created you can just go into this make a rectangle enable in viewport and reduce this so just align it over here so let's make it as a local over here smaller also according to your needs all right so just select this all save your file again so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so a few things are left which will be completing in the coming tutorial so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if any doubts please put it in the comment section so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial